Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome to Street Warriors Online. Now, this is a 8v8 fighting game. Now, it's actually street fighting, so you guys might enjoy this type of game. It sort of gave me, like, the feel of um, Zone 4, if you guys have watched my play of that. Now, I'm actually quite interested in this game when I saw it on Steam, and yes, it's on Steam, but it's free to play it as well. So, you guys can try it out. It's an amazing beat. But we're gonna get on into it and skip past this loading screen. Alright guys, pretty much what we did, we just signed up for the game. Uh, you do have to like put in a, pretty much a username and an email. That's pretty much it all you have to do to actually join into the game. So right now we should be getting into the game and seeing how it is. All right, so they have Slugger, Swarmer, and Bruiser. Hmm. So these are our type of different classes. I wonder if they have more. So we gotta pick one. This one has more speed than everyone. This one is, yeah, this one is more balanced. And this one's more HP and more tank. I like this guy. Let's go with Bruiser. You can actually customize him too. Doesn't seem like he has in-depth like customization though. They do have a slider for your hair. It looks like you only got a few choices between your hairs and all the customizations. Probably not the best looking game in the world. But I'm going to um, pretty much speed it up for you guys while I'm creating this. Alright guys, we just got done and here's our character. His arms look very out of place. Let's look at some of the clothes. Now it looks like they have in-game currency and, you know, actual money currency. So, you guys can either pay either way. I'm actually curious of how much. Alright guys, I just pretty much checked all the currency. For 50, it's a dollar. For 200, it's like three dollars. And for 500, it's six dollars. And for a thousand, it's just pretty much ten dollars. So, the game is actually pretty cheap on its currency, which is actually pretty good for a game like this. Especially if you're just looking to customize your character and everything. Let's see what some other things they have. They got some shorts. Uh, what else? Some actually pretty good shoes. Not much of a shoe guy myself. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping they had like boxing gloves. I would rock those. They just need to be like a little more fist. You wear biker helmets and the jack o lantern head. Doesn't seem like they have like the boxer protective gear that I can see. But they have a lot of stuff you can actually use to customize your character. Well, you probably can't see the glasses if I have a freaking um, no face ski mask on or stocking. Pretty sure those are stockings. Okay, I can't see anything from there, but they have scarves too. That you can't see. Well, you guys are gonna have to pretty much look at that yourself. But we're gonna go over here. You have different types of moves, kicks, and everything. But they don't actually tell me how do I do all this. So as I got in, there was like no tutorial or anything, which is kind of weird. Okay, there seems to be perks inside of the game as well. That you can equip and there's the shops where there's more perks that you can use in battle maybe there is a leaderboard with this guy at the top and there you can create clans as well let's go to bots and see how this is so basically there's three modes skirmish conquest and capture the bag so let's go with skirmish first. 
All right, never mind. There is a training mode. You just have to actually start the game to actually get inside the training. Let's see what the training's like. All right, guys. I'm pretty sure we all know basic movement. Let's go to uh, basic combat. All right, so it looks like you're fighting with your mouse, if anything. And your left click is your kicks. You can't jump with your space, so yeah. So it actually looks pretty simple so far. But you do have a stamina bar down here. So you guys gotta have to be careful and manage your attacks and not spam them like I was doing. You start to deal less damage down there. But you have a combo list that you can uh, make. Scroll wheel. You have a scroll wheel to change your attack. So you can scroll to each kind of uh, different stance as well. Alright, this is actually pretty interesting. You can hold space to block. Alright, so blocking level reaches 100, you can block for a while. So you can't block too much. Oh, well, he he died. <laughs> we hit zero. So pretty much when you hit zero, you die. So, okay. So you can sprint and do an attack. Guess you have to be sprinting for a while just to do it, or not. So even if you're like normal running, you still lose energy. So I guess if you have low energy, you can't do the whole jump kicker or jump punch. Oh. So, I guess you have to have, like, really good stamina. Kicked him down. Oh, you can, you can, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is like the most ghetto game ever. Alright, what is up with my special bar? Tell me. Push Q to the... <laughs> Push Q. Alright. So now we're going to learn about weapons. Not half bad, to be honest. The game is really not all that bad. So far. Until we actually get in and start fighting people. Alright, three types of weapons. Increase the damage of your fist. Well, jeez. Throw it to stun somebody. Greatly increases your damage, attacks multiple people in range, and breaks several hits. Stuns. Oh, okay. Reduce attacker speed. That, okay. Hmm. Weapons are actually pretty okay. I wonder if they have any more than these other three. Oh, okay, pick up the brick using E. Just annihilating somebody with a brick. <laughs> Alright. Throw. Alright, does it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does have reticle. You can stun somebody. Then you can just falcon punch them. Alright, let's grab the medium weapon. Ooh. 
this is actually a pretty good game so far. Okay, you can throw... Okay, whoa. Oh, you have to be standing still to throw it. You can't be moving or anything. Man, that guy got wrecked. Alright, so here's where um, the thing that I kind of question comes in. The cards in the drink. I, I don't know about this just yet. Power cards are, are primarily alter your character's abilities. You can equip two cards at the same time. Activate two of them. Alright, so if I was to grab a green, that would show my opponent's HP. And, well, Oracle shows my opponent's HP, and the other one just does something. I wasn't able to read it. Alright, so you can just equip two cards and two drinks. So you get one per life. Alright. Oh, well then. Okay. Beat him up. Punch him in the face. Oh, so Unbreakable just pretty much makes you unhittable. I don't know about that. I don't know. It actually seems pretty alright. Um, I do want to check and see if there's an option. Uh, let's see. Settings. Settings. There they are. First, I want to make sure like there's no mic or anything. Alright, this is pretty much everything you have to work with inside of your... Um, inside of your options there is no like controller if you guys are wondering you can switch it in any, any monitor you want but yeah let's get into it and see how it is all right we just got our stuff now we're gonna enter the whole combat so this one's called fight ring that's like a really awesome map really open and wide so it is 8v8. You can actually change it. I think it says 6v6 or 3v3. We'll check afterwards. Gotta look at my character. Oh wait, did they just change up lineup? Come on, come on. Kick her in the face. So it seems like you stay alive pretty long. Alright, my character's regaining himself. I don't think you can hit your teammates that I know of. No, you can't hit your teammates. So, that's that's how they look at it on uh, Friendly Fire. Let me get my uh, stuff back. Okay, I missed that. Yeah, just gang that guy. <laughs> this game is actually pretty dope. Now after this, I'm gonna actually do a live match and see how it goes. Then I'll pretty much wrap up the video from there. Hey, you guys get off my teammate. Oh no. I gotta actually push space to get back up. Oh no! Guys! Help! Oh no! <laughs> They're coming back with a vengeance! Forget both of you guys! Oh no! Not again! Not again! No! I think I'm dead. Ah, oh, darn. Okay. 
our team could not carry. Alright, it seems like there's a little bit of lag going on. Well, it is a 18-person um, match, so you can probably receive a little bit of lag. Okay, what are you guys doing? So I'll probably go a lower match because not everybody's uh, ping is going to be the same. Okay, why are you following me? Come on. Give her the one two combo. Yeah, puncher, puncher. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> In the crotch. Oh god. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I guess I did not hit that guy. Alright, got her. Oh god. Get them. Yo, stop hitting that guy on the ground. That's another guy. Oh god. Oh god. No. They're ganging me. This is not how it's supposed to go. Oh no. Ah, oh, darn. Our team couldn't clutch up again. Alright. Hey, bro. You're cheating. Quit. Quit doing what you're doing. Trying to get a head start on everyone. Yeah, this game is like pure chaos. Why do you always want to fight me? You must have like a grudge against me or something. Hey team, can I get some help here? I'm fighting two people. Oh dear god, what? Alright, got her. I think I just saw somebody slide across the- okay, never mind. That guy is one with the ground. Okay. Come on! Oh, come on. What? Oh, our team? Okay, our team clutched up. Ah. Oh. God, I'm terrible. I think this is the last match. Let me drop kick somebody. <laughs> oh no, help me. Punch her to death. Now ganger. Kick her to death. Oh no, we're outnumbered again. I'll help you. This is the best I can do, I'm sorry. You're on your own. Oh god, that guy just rolled to me, what? Dude, the last guy just rolled it to me. <laughs> oh well, I lost. What can you do? I tried guys, I tried. But we're gonna go into an actual match and see how this turns out. So let's see. So it's 2v2 and 4v4. Let's go with 4v4. And go with Conquest. Alright, it only seems like I'm around, so let's go back to Skirmish and try to find some more people. Hopefully Skirmish does have uh, more people in it. 
Alright guys, it seems like only Conquest and Capture the Bag are 16 man battles, so you have to 8v8 on those. But in Skirmish, it's two, you can pick 2v2 and pretty much um, 4v4 and 8v8, so yeah. Only Skirmish you can actually change it for now. So it seems like there's only two of us right now. Pretty sure it's going to take us a long time to get a match. Well, guys, I could not find an actual online match. There was a whole bunch of people leaving and, you know, rejoining, leaving, and rejoining. So I couldn't actually find a match. So I'm going to have to end it off right there. It seems like the game has a little low population of players. So if you guys are into these type of fighting games, I definitely recommend you actually join them and see if you can liven up the game a little. You know, like party up with your friends, which is down here, I believe. Nope, it's just pretty much additional characters. I'm pretty sure you can uh, party up with your friends and actually um, invite them to a match and everything. Um, their priority they're working on now is matchmaking and, you know, creating rooms so you guys can actually join for off those. So once they get that, it's going to be a lot easier to actually find matches. But until then, you're probably going to have to wait off. But I'm pretty sure you can find something inside of the 2v2, but... I wasn't getting anybody in the 2v2, sadly enough, but maybe I just got bad luck right now. But, alright guys, we're going to be ending it right there, but if you guys enjoyed, make sure to try out the game, and make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.